suppression of the use of marijuana and of the forces lurking behind it are the most important jobs this department is now engaged in. In 1930, the records on marijuana in the Washington office of the Narcotics Division scarcely filled a small folder like this. Today, they fill cabinets. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Coloradians, and everyone that's smart enough to listen from the outside. It's one of the most amazing plants we've ever discovered. The pot party, the trippers, the grasshoppers, the hip ones, all gathered in secrecy and flying high as a cup. Please! All right, so welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another week of Stone Deputy with your host, as always, Kip. CB will be joining me in just a second, but before we get before he gets here, I'm going to go ahead and knock out the ad reads. We've been struggling a little bit after our long ass party celebration in honor of Chris's like 40th fucking trip around the sun. But you know what? Uh, we couldn't have had any more fun than we did. Um, but yeah, we'll dive into that when Chris gets here. Before he gets here, though, let's discuss something that I love dearly, and that's our sponsors. It's the two sponsors you'll hear from every fucking week, and it's because we have zero reason to shop around for new sponsors. It's because Standing Akimbo is the best goddamn medical dispensary in this city. We love working with them. We love the products they have on the shelves, and we especially love the deals that they constantly give to the end consumer. The best cartridges, the best edibles. They have something for everybody. They have their in-house grown flour. They have concentrates in their strains and terps, but they also have the biggest names in the community as well. They've got your friends from Leafa. They've got your Seed and Smith. They've got your dialed ends, your incredible bars. Hell, if you want some jerk off cream, they've got that for you too. Quite literally, there's something for everyone at Standing Akimbo, but you got to have your med card. So if you're looking to get your med card, shoot us a message at stoned underscore appetite on uh, Instagram or on Twitter, and we will uh, help facilitate that. If you've been struggling you know, financially, you think that this would be able to help you alleviate some of the pains you may be having, as well as some of the bills from pharmaceuticals, we'd love to help you fix that burden. So shoot me a message. We'll work with as many people as we can. Um, and that's thanks to our friends over at Standing and Kimbo. They're going to help us do it. We're going to have discounts for anybody that wants to get their medical license, and we'll help make sure that Everybody has access to things that make them feel better. Speaking of things that make us feel better, how about one of our favorite product lines? And that's our friends over at Seed and Smith. They're not just great dart pods, if y'all, as y'all heard us say in episodes in real life forever. The thing strokes, but that's not where it stops. They have pre-rolls. They have their own flower. Fuck, they have tours where you can actually see all of the shit go down. The extraction methods, the grow, you can see it all from seed to sale over there at Seed and Smith's location on Oakland Street. And if you happen to have family flying in, or maybe people are coming in town for the concerts this week or Tyler Childers next week, stop into Seed and Smith. I tell you what, the place is a cool vibe. It'll definitely show off for everybody in your family when you get to show them the grows that they have available here to your disposal. It's also a great ass product. So you can't go wrong shopping at Seed and Smith. Woo, that was a good ad read. And look at that. There's the birthday boy. How are you, CB? Oh my God, I'm feeling a day older. So there's that. But it's the know- tequila, wasn't it? May may have been, may have been, might have been the mezcal, could have been the couple cocktails at Death and Co. Who knows? Somewhere, it's mix- somewhere <laughs> the in there, mix- it, it hit. And it's the mixing of alcohol when you get to your age. I was telling the listeners as I was doing the ad read before you joined us here tonight that are today that you we tied on a righteous buzz, but you know they. People like Seed and Smith will help you get back on your feet, Chris. So, I mean, if you're feeling like dog shit now, we'll get you back on your feet. We'll get you squared up. Just got to go hit your Seed and Smith dart pod. Very true. Very true. How was work the first day in your 40s? Do you feel closer to AARP and Social Security? Financially, my portfolio is probably not strong in that category. I'm probably got the portfolio of a 27 year old professional, but knowledge wise, I'm there. <laughs> You've got a lot of life hacks, experience in the field, so to speak, that you could shed on 
somebody that maybe is bragging about putting so much away in their 401k. That asshole, those kids don't even realize that the market's going to bottom out at least three more times before any of us cuts get to retire. So we'll all be working from the square one again eventually. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. So why waste that time right now? Use that money wisely, spend it on frivolous <laughs> items like marijuana and uh, clothes and whatnot, what have you. Oh, man, Chris, I like where your head's at. If you want to give Chris a birthday gift, Go ahead and Venmo them. Chris, what's your Venmo? Let's go get Chris some new shoes and booze and don't let him put any more money into retirement. Yeah. I mean, because honestly, too, if you're saving for kids college, colleges are going to be obsolete by the time anyone has kids nowadays. So just and I'm, scrap that. I mean, it's going to be so watered down. That and herpes are going to be so prevalent. Like bachelor's degree, be like, welcome to the club, brother. $19,000. Get on the factory line. Um, can you hear me okay with the new uh, headphones? I can. Can you hear me? I can. We've got we're gonna get you a pair of these as well. They're Bluetooth and so they'll sync to everything you use, but you can also plug them in so you can use them when we're recording our interviews with our guests. Tell me this if somebody were coming up directly behind you to murder you, would you would you hear them coming? Fuck no, Chris. In fact, that <laughs> happened today when I was doing a cheese stick review. I was I was listening to I'm doing some books on tape right now to learn a little bit more about just a bunch of stuff. But um, I was listening to this book and I was just kind of zoned out. My drink and the appetizers had been there for a solid four minutes before I realized there was already condensation on the outside of the glass. And that may be courtesy of our friends over at Olio. Kip had a couple of edibles before <laughs> lunch. And so he may have been a little cadetted. Um, but you <laughs> <laughs> that's such as life i had a big time last night too chris and i have something i need to get off my chest go for it this is just between you and i don't let any listeners know this i sharded a little bit today Ooh. in the like was it like first thing in the morning no it was like sometime in the middle of the morning i was like god damn it are you serious i'm gonna have to change these out uh I mean, it happens to everybody in their 30s or 40s. So for our 27-year-old listeners who are like, what the fuck? We got really drunk last night. It's not my fault. No, it's not. If you mix in a little caffeine and you're thinking, oh, I've got about a 30-minute leeway, and then you're like, oh, here's a little precursor fart. <laughs> no. We're, I'm we're, just glad we're... I wasn't on the brand new couch. I was like walking around doing stuff, and I was like, uh-oh. And then I went to the I was like, God damn it. I was like, the, you were 30 something years old. What the fuck is wrong with you? That's that's just normal. Um, so I, I see, I think the sphincter muscles get a little weaker as you age. And so they I just might have, it's you would have told me I had had a popper this morning. I wouldn't have been surprised. <laughs> um, was it a throwaway the shorts kind of popper? Nah, was it, it wasn't like, that bad. Okay. It was, there was it wasn't a full blowout. It was just a casual, you know, close to home situation. It was like a, if this was the movie Twister with Helen Hunt and Bill Paxton, I would say this is like an F two. You know, they wouldn't even chase like the prick crew, the the bougie crew wouldn't even have chased this thing. It wasn't like a full blown grandma's house is gone type thing. Right, cows up in the yeah, yeah. Okay. There were no same cow situations here. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to but know. But it was a uh, big time. Jose and the family over at La Diabla. It's fucking fun with those folks, dude. I kind of, I mean, I kind of like the way you know, because normally I try to go out to a, a more of a like sit down, like nicer restaurant for the birthday. But I loved kicking it casual and having some tasty tacos. Yeah, I mean, Ivan's making awesome drinks. You happen to have this little niche where you find out really cool specials around town and then you put us on them, but you put us on them through like experiencing them, not like telling us, hey, there's this awesome Mezcal deal tonight. You were like, yeah, let's go get these Mezcals. And we show up, they're like, yeah, it's half price fours on Tuesday. I had yeah. no clue. That was a I fucking think steal. I think it's like break even Tuesdays where they set they feature a mezcal and they sell it like at cost. So you can try That's some of those like, you know, I mean, mezcal gets pricey and like sometimes pours are around 20 to 25 bucks. But 
on Tuesdays, they have it where they feature one and you can get a hell of a deal on it. I, I mean, and it was last night that and you mentioned her. This is the cheapest birthday we've done to you in years. Um, you know, it's a little different than Annette's or Tavernetta's, but it's equally as fun. And I mean, with Ivan doing street, uh, street Taco Tuesday, that's a fun little idea where you can get red snapper tacos for three bucks instead of six. Like, that's a fucking steal. Honestly, like now that I think of it, it's hard not to find a steal at fucking La Diablo. Well, I mean, as we saw more with, and we discussed it with Bon Appetit, you know, yeah. having them in their magazine and us promoting them on this podcast, those are two huge bumps they're getting. Like, they're pretty much huge. gator tails. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's going to be more and more white. So the price can casually go up if they want it to. And once that happens, you and I will have to pick up our camp and go to a new spot. But I mean, it's it doesn't break the bank. And every single day of the week, it's like they have a different fucking party going on. And the place is one in, one out nowadays. I'd love to see it. It's a fucking yeah. vibe. Yeah, I thought it was great. And I love the fact that Jose is up there, like just in the thick of it. That shit's great. Yeah. I mean, when you know that your chef's like helping you clear tables, seat families, you know, make runs with food and things, you know, everyone's rowing in US unison and you're more inclined to want to work more or work harder with that person. So shout out to that team. That was a fucking vibe. I had a blast last night. It also explains why this podcast was a day late today. Yeah. And, but also not to get ahead of ourselves or whatever, but food truck Friday this week is going to be pretty interesting. Okay, so I have that on the list. Obviously, we go kind of through a similar rundown in the intro parts of every episode where we recap the week that was. Um, have you already hit up this week's article spot and written the blog or whatever? No, nah, I'm right. I'm starting to write it tonight, going to finish it tomorrow, but I did hit up the spot this evening. Ooh, what? just tease us. What kind of food? Um... Let's go with it's sandwiches. Oh, talk the fucking vessel, slutty to me. But the vessel that carries the sandwich is where the truth lies. It's a different. Oh. It, it may not be bread. It may, you know, it could be a different type of sandwich. But I will say. Are you talking like meat on the outside, like the chicken sandwiches from KFC, where it was two chicken breasts instead of white bread? And then they had bread and cheese in the middle. So it's like reversed. Are you talking about the KFC mixer, a double down? No, I'm not. That just, that's, that's inappropriate. That doesn't, I mean, that it's never, a stoner think... podcast, Chris. People eat the double down. But I, there, there is a stoner bite with fluff or nutter. Oh fuck! You went to Elvison? No, this thing's got this. I'll I'll give a little precursor. the The stoner bite is like there's like a little bit of um pebbles, pebble cereal, fruity pebbles. Got, yeah, and then you've got potato chips, peanut butter, and fluffer nuddle nutter. This sounds like a stoner's paradise. And so if y'all want to know more about this, you can see it on our social media tomorrow as you're listening to this. And you can read all the details about the people behind the food on Chris's articles every week for Food Truck Fridays on the Westward website, which and I you can will, find on our link. Yeah, and one more, one more little tip or hint is this is a permanent location. And it's in the Rhino area. So you'll be able Hey-o. to bag it Thursday through Sunday. I love to hear that. And I know next week we're going to hear from our friends Bits and Pieces that they are going to have a, a lockdown location too, Chris. So we're going to be able to report some news soon. But for the meantime, Chris is doing the Lord's work by finding fantastic stoner munchies. I'm looking forward to this article and to see what kind of pictures you took for us to promote with. I got some good ones. Okay, well, okay, in addition to where you've been dining, let me give you a little quick recap of where I ate last week so everybody knows where I stand. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah, let's hear it. It's Hispanic Restaurant Association Week, dubbed by Governor Polis. So HRA. 